Trump. Our team is now learning that Robert O'Brien, remember him, the former national security advisor under former President Trump? He was meeting today with the January 6th committee, which is still conducting its work. NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Ali Vitale is here. She's part of the team that is breaking this news, this scoop here for NBC. What do we know, Ali? Yeah, Hallie, this is an interview that we knew the committee was pursuing, but now they're actually doing it with the former national security advisor to the Trump administration, Robert O'Brien. He was expected to be meeting with the committee this morning, according to two sources now talking to us. And look, it presents the larger picture that, A, the committee is still working, despite the fact that we are not in the period of public hearings, at least not right now. They're on a temporary pause that we expect to pick up again in September, but also it shows how they're using this time, having laid out for viewers and people following the hearings the timeline that led up to January 6th, but now potentially detailing what was happening after the 6th, specifically in the highest echelons of the Trump administration, as they talked to not just O'Brien, but people like former Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao and others in that orbit, Mike Pompeo, the Secretary of State, all people who could potentially detail from different angles, because remember, Chow left the administration after the 6th, while, while Mike Pompeo remains a steadfast ally, detailing the ways that the cabinet themselves may have been talking about potentially removing the president from office with the 25th Amendment and what the reaction was inside the administration to January 6th. All of these conversations are now seemingly the focus of the committee's work as they pull that timeline past the actual day of the insurrection and drag it into the weeks prior between the insurrection and the inauguration, as the committee has tried to say time and again, Hallie, that this is an ongoing threat that did not stop on January 6th. What else do we know? I mean, Ali, it's hard to believe we're like a week and change out from September, right? But we do know that the committee had said publicly yeah. they would pick back up their public hearings. Are we hearing anything on that front, Ali, as far as timing, content, et cetera? Look, our sources have continued to say that there will be more hearings in September. The latest number that we had was two, but that's not to say that they can't add or subtract in real time. This is a committee that has been very nimble with their information, with their fact right. gathering, and the fact that they're continuing to go forward on this is really notable. I mean, when I was talking to Chairman Thompson just before the House went home for recess, so I guess uh, about a week and change from now, he was saying that they haven't set any deadlines or dates for when they want to do these hearings, but at the same time, you got to think about something that Congressman Liz Cheney said, and now she's also in a very interesting position because it's not like she was tethered in some way to her party, but certainly now she's leaving Congress. So she's someone who we're definitely going to be watching closely during the hearings when they return. But at the same time, she said they're having conversations with Mike Pence, the former vice president, who also said in New Hampshire, you might add, that he was open <laughs> if there was a formal invitation to the January 6th committee. That tracks, frankly with the ways that people in his orbit have cooperated with the January 6th committee. They did it after formal invitations. They did it after subpoenas, but they did it. They did cooperate to the point where some of them have even testified publicly in the hearings that we've seen so far. Having that level of cooperation, not just from people in the cabinet, but also potentially from the former vice president, that would bring us into an entirely new phase of this. And it's something that we know the committee has been, de been debating over the course of the last few months. So it's going to be interesting to see what they decide come September.